starting like early August of 2019, I my really only symptom was these really bad stomach pains. Um, we couldn't really figure them out. I was having them for a little while, and then I also had a few fainting episodes. I was traveling for work, and Olivia called me and said, the doctor's testing her for mono and for strep, um, uh, and is doing a battery of blood tests. The next day, we got confirmation that it indeed was uh, leukemia, and that it indeed was AML. I remember coolly walking out of the room after she left, and then I chased her down the hall, and I asked her. She was very professional and um, uh, very even keel in delivering the news to the three of us, and I said, I pressed her on how, how serious was this. She was clearly very worried, and she said, um, I have seen kids uh, recover from this before. And I became involved after we realized that there was a, a mutation that was a part of her AML that put her at high risk for relapsing. And so that, that marker is something called FLT3. And patients that have that are much more likely to relapse if they only receive chemotherapy. What we recognized early on is that we needed to do something more to cure her. Uh, and that is a bone marrow transplant. And so the first step is to look for a sibling. When we looked at Bella, she was half matched. We looked into our national database. We were fortunate that she had a, a perfectly matched donor that was available. I had gone through my whole preparatory chemo regimen the day before um, Dr. Watkins came in and he said, there was an issue with the donor, we don't know what happened. That Sophia had just received this incredibly intense treatment. Without stem cells, her bone marrow would never recover. And so it was really important to find another donor as soon as we possibly could. I was actually at school um, and I like, got a phone call. It was my mom and she was just like, you need to come back to the hospital and get tested. They did my surgery pretty early while I was recovering. Um, they took me up to her room and I was there to witness her transplant. At the time, it did not feel that scary because we had Dr. Watkins and we were, we had a plan. Had we not been at Children's, we wouldn't have gotten sort of the leading edge thinking um, and expertise that went into ultimately deciding what was the best uh, for Sophia. I met her in the very beginning, probably her first admission. Um, she was transferred here from Scottish Rite. I fell in love with her immediately. They were like my friends, and they would come in when it was their turn to be on the shift. It was so exciting to see them. They would sit with me. Every Monday night, we also came in and watched The Bachelor with her, which ended up being like our tradition. Sometimes the nurses would come in on their nights off. In transplant, I had um, a lot of pain in my hands and feet, um, like sort of like a burning sensation, especially in my hands. And they would sit with me the whole night, handing me cold washcloths, refilling buckets so I could put my hands in cold water, and just going to every length they could go to to make sure that I was comfortable and happy. For as many downs as there sometimes are, you also have those incredible ups, just like being able to be with Fiat, her bell ringing. We made a banner for her and she um, actually like did like kind of like a rocky thing and like ran through the banner. Um, and I have now had patients after that that I tell them that, oh, we had a patient do a marathon and they say, well, I want to do that too. Like she's inspired so many people. So Sophia's future is bright. You know, she's made it through a year after the transplant. Uh, this is a marathon, and she's not quite to the finish line yet, uh, but she's approaching it. There's never once that we felt like we were getting anything less than world-class care. I could not have asked for a better hospital, a better care team. They really did make it feel like home. The doctors, the nurses, all the extra staff, everybody was just incredible. and. I'm very fortunate to have them. Watching her do normal things is, um, is absolutely brings joy.